All right, guys, this one's a little bit more messy. I saw some videos on the web of people uh, putting spray paint into tinier aerosol cans like Axe and Tag. I, I tried doing the Axe. This is the can of Axe. You really can't tell anymore because I've taken off the top and, well, I painted the rest of it. But th this used to be a can of Axe. I've tried to fill this thing. It, it don't work. I mean, I've been trying. I don't know if it does have some in it or not. Let's check. No, it's still got... Regular spray. Uh, when you do these, you want to make sure they're entirely empty before you try. Um, I got it worked really good with a tag like this when they're empty. Basically, what I did is because this is a male, you need a female cap. Is I set it on top and I kind of put the nozzles together like that, and I set the paint on top, and then I pressed down, and nothing came out. So I just kind of wiggled it around and. You'll hear it go in, it sounds like a noise, but, and that, that'll that give you some pain. You just got to keep doing it until you get it filled. Um, it does work with both caps, the big fat little tag cap, or a female cap, because this is a male can. Um, I mixed it with a bunch of colors, so right now it's shit brown. See? So it does spray. And it has a weird smell to it because it still has a little bit of tag mixed in. But it sprays. Um, I tried it with other cans. Like, what did I try? I tried it with a Rusto. Rusto is a little bit too high pressure. And paint started splattering everywhere. So I don't recommend it. It's all on my wall right here. Here, I'll show you. This is what it did. It sprayed blue paint on my wall. Um, I tried it with Color Place. Color Place is a little bit harder to do. So far what I've seen is Krylon is the best. So, and you can, like I said, you can mix paints just by using different Krylons or whatever you want to do. Like, I had it at a light blue earlier, but now it's just shit brown. And here's the demonstration on a regular cap. It's a little hard to put on now because there's a shit load of spray paint on this thing. And you just shake it like normal, go up to it. And you will cover it. It's actually got a decent sized tip too. As you can tell I pretty much covered this entire box with a little bitty wannabe can of spray paint. <laughs> and I got it on my desk. Fantastic. Yeah, this is a really messy project. I recommend you do this outside. But there you go, that's mixing paints and I tried to do it with this, it didn't work very well. Um this fucking cat back off now. This one, there's a little bitty tag. This is what you'd use in this thing. It's a little body spray thing. You set it in like that. This one has a little bit left in it. I don't know how much it has in. I did mix some colors in. You see that purple coming in? It, this one's a little bit harder to do because the way you mix it, mix them in. Hopefully I will spray myself again. You set these two on top of each other. And you have to use the tag because regular spray paint cans won't work. And you do like that. And hopefully you won't spray it everywhere like I am. Like all over myself. I think that gave it a little bit. And you can't use a female cap, see? It just won't go anywhere. You have to use its little dispenser thing. But you can put it in these. It's just a lot harder. And this is cool. I like these. But there you go. Um... Also, another thing, if you want to look at it or not, I tried to do it, it didn't work because I have this needle cap now. You can put a needle cap on a regular can, and you can stick it into another one that's a female, kind of like this. So for you to actually stick it in there, and you can spray in and mix colors. I tried, but I failed. Maybe y'all can figure it out. Well, there you go.